just because you can preach, you have the ability to talk in front of people. Let me tell you, you can go to school for that. My question is, are you anointed to do the role or to operate in the role of pastor? Because every preacher has not been designed to become a pastor. And so that's one of the greatest misconceptions right there. But then I started losing things. Uh, my motorcycle got wrecked, my car broke down, I lost my job, and I found out my girl was cheating on me. Everything was falling apart, but it didn't really uh, um, damage me. I just took it on the chin and kept it moving. But during that time, there was one thing that really just sunk in, and it does resonate even today. Um, I had met a young lady during that time, and um, I only knew her for about two weeks. During that time, it was really a strong, strong relationship. I'd never really been in one something to that magnitude that quickly. Um, but turns out that, that she was murdered. I, I think a lot of ministry struggles from uh, many different things. One is we struggle financially. Like, I, I don't think a lot of people understand just because your church bring in money, it doesn't mean that there's not a struggle there. And some churches don't bring in hardly anything. I'm struggling. Got a BG and E bill. <laughs> Baltimore Gas Electric, right here. Real BG and E bill with a, with a $5,000 note on it. That's real. This is real. And if we don't uh, bring in the finance to pay it, there's no electricity. There's one thing that has definitely scarred me. Um, we can say we're healed, we can say we're delivered from it, but at the end of the day, it still affects us. Well, it still affects me. Even now I'm talking about it, I'm praying and asking God to give me strength just to get through this question. That I had some of the same weaknesses that I was preaching to empower other people to come out of. I'm struggling with it. Impossible. I'm the apostle, I'm the bishop, I'm the pastor. But you mean to tell me I have a struggle? And when I re recall the thing that really hurt me to this day, it's realizing that I have a struggle. I'm hearing from God, but I didn't realize I had a struggle. convincing persons that I loved the Lord so much and I was just living a holy and righteous life. Yet as a teenager, I certainly were, was involved in sinful acts and they had a great influence. And what a lot of people don't understand is there are uh, eternal repercussions for temporary acts. And so those things have, have followed me. Those things have uh, caused me to perhaps miss some opportunities, uh, yet we thank God for his saving grace. I think being a pastor is the most, it's the hardest job the world can ever behold, or the hardest job you can ever have. You're responsible for taking care of God's people, making sure they are right, making sure they're eating a good diet spiritually, making sure they're okay naturally. And then at the same time, you gotta make sure you're okay. You gotta make sure that your family's straight and they're not suffering spiritually. Is it hard? Absolutely. Is it something that I would do again? Absolutely not. I'm just being honest, I will not, I will not ever do it again. 